What's up everybody? Welcome to the Transformers 2 commentary. I know this is like two weeks late, but I don't care. So yeah, we're back with the titles. This is going to be a thing in every single Transformers. Because uh, I like it. It gives a little recap as to what's going on. And I, oh my goodness, that is loud. So fun fact, this was not the first scene that was shot. The first scene that was shot was the, um, all the Nexus stuff. All the Nexus stuff was shot first, and then I shot this next. But this is more about the Decepticons than it is the Autobots, so I figured I would throw the Decepticons right in at the beginning. And Ravager was a character that I just came up with in like a day. Um, I needed a way to connect the Autobots to the Decepticons somehow, because the Decepticons were still on Earth, and uh, the Autobots weren't. And Ravager was originally meant to have, um, he was, he, he originally was a Starscream Beast Hunters, uh, figure, but that figure would not stand on his own two feet, but, uh, yeah, I, I decided to just go with, um, Onslaught. See, you can tell with how out of focus this, these shots are, that I shot this first. And I did it again. I told myself I wasn't gonna do it, and I did it again. Where is he? Right behind you. I got a real kick out of this one. That's one of my favorite bits. Is that I threw the uh, original Transformers movie in there. I actually really like that effect. This was my absolute favorite. Was Megatron being frozen, and then the opening of his cell. That's. I I did so many amazing shots of this. So if you're wondering why he uh, is like stiff and he needs help up, it's because he's been frozen for the last six months, so he kind of can't move at first. And then Bumblebee just got smoked. <laughs> there was meant to be a lot more with Bumblebee, but I just kind of didn't feel like doing a whole lot with Bumblebee. I wanted to get back to. Uh, the Nexus, and I wanted to get the Autobots and Decepticons on the Nexus. I want to take Star Screams. This is gonna play a pretty big part in the third one. The uh, Ravager taking Star Screams place. Autobots, uh, if that makes your decision any easier. Deal. No, Bulk, you're doing it wrong. Okay, then why don't you fix it? I really enjoyed this bit. You gotta fix a basic fuel line. Oh, and the reason why there's no sound as to when Megatron lands on the Nexus is because there's no sound in space, so I, I didn't put any sound. I love that. That's that little uh, fire thing. I got it from a, like a robot put together thing like 18,000 years ago, even though it was only like eight years ago. thought you were locked up tight in Garrus 9. I'm so, so happy with Megatron in this one. Uh, the voices, I really tried to differentiate them this time. Uh, I, the last time you could just sort of, I, it, each character had the same sort of voice, but this time around I really tried my hardest to make them different from one another. And that's my best bit of action I've ever filmed in my entire life. And this, th these are the best V effects I've ever known. Is this water bit, which I'm super proud of. I could have done it a little bit better. I should have taken uh, my time more with aligning it. But you know what? I'm happy with what I got done. Okay, what did I just say? Just turn around. What? Oh. This is the moment I've been waiting for. You know, I, I kind of shafted Shockwave. I didn't really uh, allow him to do his thing more. This one's for Smokescreen. Tie in the first one a little bit, cause Shockwave did murder Smokescreen. Oh, good job, Bulkhead. Thanks, Rodimus. Just probably handcuff these cons. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So when I was in post, all of these scenes were originally like whole, L like with this fight sequence between Megatron and Optimus that used to be all just one scene but I thought it would be better to cut back and forth okay. right, cool. you foolish Autobots won't get, won't away, get away with it yeah, 
heard it a thousand times before. Optimus, this is Rodimus. Do you read? Optimus, this is Rodimus. Do you copy? I, I really enjoy it. This is the best, like, screen thing I ever did. I should have put a frame around it, but uh, I did Wait, are you just leaving us here? Well, one thing's for certain, you're not getting paid. I hate the flicker. You, you, you can just see. I love doing those shots where it goes out of focus. And Optimus just he died. Till all. All are one. And then he's... This is my favorite shot in the whole thing. That little falling scene, I was so proud of that. Probably ruptured the engine, which means we're going down. We're going down. Boom! Transformers 2. So if you're wondering where they crash landed, they crash landed on Earth, uh, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense uh, now looking back on it because the Autobots and Decepticons, or not the Autobots and Decepticons, the Autobots were in space for six months. Uh, so they should be, like, way out by now, uh, especially with the Cybertronian ship, but you know what, I'm not even gonna worry about it, because, uh, you know, it's whatever. Thank you so much for watching, the support on this film was insane, thank you for watching, I love you all, and peace. You got